isn't much of a background. I saw the video when everybody else saw it when I woke up. Um, no one, he, no one warned you about it. Nobody warned me about it. I, I, it looks like maybe he didn't know he was being recorded. It looks yes. like it was some sort of a private event. I got no clarity on the issue that he was particularly speaking on. And in what was said, I also, I can't respond to it beyond what he's saying because it's just ad hominem attacks. I don't know. Yeah, because it's not, you know, we disagree or yeah. I, you know, I, I don't think she's correct or maybe she doesn't know what she's talking about. It's absolutely disgraceful. Yeah, exactly. So this is funny. I don't know why consecutive pundits like this continue to disgrace themselves on social media. Ben Shapiro recently sent this out. Candice, if you feel that taking money from the Daily Wire somehow comes between you and God, by all means, quit. This was as a result of just quoting the Bible. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness sake. That was all Candace Wells sent out. Ben Shapiro replied this by asking her to quit. Candace recently had an interview with Togo Carson where they discussed what is going on. So on this clip, we are going to take an exclusive look into what is going on. If you are not subscribed to this channel, please endeavor us to do that. And if possible, why not share all this video? So Nikki Haley, this has been noted on, online, but it's not her real name, of course. It's a pseudonym. And so... <laughs> She's not even using a real name and telling us that we have to register with the government under our real names in order to give our opinions. That's obviously uh, contrary to the First Amendment. I don't know why the anchor didn't say something about it to her, but sort of not at all. It's accountability. But it's fascism, actually. So, like, why isn't Nikki Haley getting laughed off the stage? Well, Nikki Haley is someone that I would describe as as radical. She She's a yeah. radical in this moment, and she's trying to present her opinions as not radical by hiding behind a terrorist attack, and it's not going to age well. So right now in this moment, people are like, this rhetoric is totally fine. You're going to look back in a year, and people are going to say, actually, this was kind of crazy. Some of the things that she said, you know, she, in, in, in my view, has become increasingly radical every time she even hits the debate stage. I don't even know, you know, what country she's running for president in. Right. And I think Vivek Ramaswamy called her out accurately. And based on even my own personal experiences with her, which I've documented on my podcast as somebody who isn't looking to actually win president, no. doesn't want to become president of the United States. What she's looking to do is to secure certain contracts um, after she leaves the stage and, yes. and she loses. And so for her, the motive are relationships that she's going to build and money that she's going to earn as best evidence by the fact that when, Lissy, when, when Nikki Haley left her ambassadorship, she was, in, she was broke and now she's a millionaire, a multimillionaire. And you have to ask how that happens. And Vivek Ramaswamy has had the courage to talk about her contract yes. going. So her concerns are not about American citizens whatsoever, which is why it's all about sort of kowtowing to the person that I think that she believes or to, to people that she believes can write her the biggest checks. That's been my assessment of Nikki Haley from the very beginning. It's still my assessment now. Uh, take it early. Yes, it is actually funny to me when I see people I look up to behaving this way. It has reached a certain point since the days of Crowder, Candace Owens, the Daily Wire, I noticed something. In the consecutive movement, things like this are happening frequently, infighting between them. Now this issue that is happening, the current thing in Israel, it has actually stirred up more reactions, especially with Ben Shapiro. His reaction toward people and Candace Owens is causing a lot of chaos on social media. I understand this topic is a sensitive one. When you say A, you can hurt another person. When you say B, you can hurt another person. But it should be allowed for people to express themselves. Candace Wayne has condemned what is going on. Um, she has her take, but taken to it, Ben Shapiro saying Candace Wayne should quit is something I don't understand. Is it because she is not having right to air up her mind, but taken to this, or what exactly? Sometimes when I see situations like this, I don't actually like to give opinion much. I just want to report the news so you can see exactly what is going on because it is something that people I disagree on the daily basis. Candace Owen made it clear during that interview with Dr. Carson 
that this is not the first time. They have had disagreement in numerous occasions. Um, if they are able to coexist, you know, in different cases, like the COF vibe, then they should be able to coexist here. Ben Shapiro saying, Candace Owen should quit. It's something we all know. Candace Owen cannot quit. She is waiting to be fired so she can sue them. That is what a lot of people are saying. I want you to know your thought. Is it right for Ben Shapiro to ask Candace Owen to quit for airing her mind or for quoting the Bible? Which is something I've seen people criticizing on social media. I connect this tweet. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Ben Shapiro retweeted this. Candice, if you feel that taking money from the Daily Wire somehow comes between you and God, by all means, quit. It has actually caused a lot of people to react on this. Some goals against Ben Shapiro. They talked about free speech. Candace Owen should be able to express herself immediately. Candace Owen respond again. You have been acting unprofessional and emotional unhinged for weeks now, and we have all had to sit back and allow it and have all tired and have all tired and have all tried to exercise exceeding understanding for your raw emotions. But you cross a certain line when you come for scriptures and read yourself into E. I will not tolerate E. Candace went saw this and was angry. It is to clearly tell you one thing. These people 